Get it right. Everyone, welcome back with Krafa. On today's video, I made a custom end spike or end pillar in your Minecraft world. So, let's get it right into it and see how it's done. Looking at our custom end spike, we see the first major thing I did to it was add this custom end stone and brim all around it. I used a series of complex or sim and simple shapes to kind of add kind of little circles of end stone, mimicking out of kind of these little circular wraps going all the way around. I mimicked this same pattern going all the way up until the very top of the build, until I changed it. Once I had the initial brim completed, I wanted to add more detail to it. So I picked my favorite nine purple blocks and started to filling in, filling in the holes to just kind of give it a nice little pop of color. The same color that I use in the end chalice. After I did that, I wanted to light up the really dark structure some more. So I added these series of end rods sticking into the build, going all the way up in one series, one series pattern. After completing all of that, I wanted to change up some of the obsidian on the build. I did this by using a series of obsidian, polished blackstone, blackstone, black concrete, and black wool to mix in with the um, obsidian to create kind of little divots and dents in the obsidian to break up this continuous pattern and give it a little better detailing. After completing the base of the tower, I moved up to the most important part of it, the end crystal cage. I continue this wall design up about 8 or 10 blocks past the top of the tower into this top bit. This top bit used, kind of connects with this, with this end stone kind of circle where it skips half slabs, two up to make kind of little circles around it. I filled this intersection with some purple, purple and pink blocks to give it a bit more color for adding another little kind of squarish circle in the center to kind of break up that shape and get in this whole circular square shape theme. After doing that, I continued the end rods all the way up at a slightly different position and in the very center. I also put an end rod right, right inside of the actual crystal itself, securing it after I broke the bedrock. Next thing I want to do is make the inside of this thing a bit more survival friendly. So I kind of em I emptied out the inside and made a little staircase going all the way up with a mix of end stone stairs and slabs and end rods. Lastly, but certainly not least, surrounding the end spike itself, I added a series of obsidian pillars spiking out of the ground and a bit of chaotic fury surrounding the end tower itself. Surrounding these towers, I added some obsidian scattered across the floor, so it's kind of broken up, and it kind of adds a nice little detail around the tower, incorporating it more into the surrounding area, rather than just a random spike out of the ground. All the varying elements of this build all come together to really make it a lot different and special compared to the vanilla version we see over here. The different colors and characteristics all given to it help make it special, but still kind of keep somewhat of a vanilla theme to it, while not being perfectly vanilla. I tried to use very few blocks and kind of keep up the same color palette that I used elsewhere, such as the end chalice. All in all, I think this makes this build look really nice and a good idea that you can incorporate or maybe think of your own build for your own Minecraft world. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video with my custom end spike, or end tower if you please. I think I, I really like this build, I hope you guys liked it too. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me, what should I do next time? And, until next time, troop dismissed.